Hello and welcome to News Click. The Government of India has decided to move amendments in the General Insurance Business Nationalization Act, which will lead to privatization of the four general insurance companies. This will adversely affect the general public, which relies on the public sector general insurance companies and the recruitment in the future with mass privatization. To discuss more about this, we have with us Mr. Anand, the General Secretary of South Zone General Insurance Employees Association. Welcome, sir. Sir, to begin with, what are the provisions which you oppose in this act and what is the reason to oppose this act? Because the general insurance companies have a lot of role to play in the country and to the public. Yeah, and now I want to say that the employees and officers in general insurance industry are on a war path. Uh, we have not waged the war. It is a war that is waged against us by the government of India. It is a war that is waged against the people of this country by the government of India. The government of India has decided to amend the General Insurance Business Nationalization Act 1972. The ordinance was passed in 1971 to nationalize 107 private insurance companies. There were 107 private insurance companies in the year 1971. And the government of India, then government of India decided to nationalize because there are a lot of fraudulent activities that were taking place. Big corporate houses were operating in general insurance at that time. Tata was there, Birla was there, TVS was there. You name any company in India, big corporates in India, they were owning the company prior to 1971 also. They were indulging in a lot of fraudulent activities. That is why it was nationalized in 1971. These companies are also operating now after the liberalization policies and the market was opened up to the private insurance companies. They also started their operation in 2001 and they are also now in operation. But before 1971, because of the fraudulent activities, it was nationalized. Now an amendment has come. In 2015-16, they brought one amendment and said that after 1971, there were four companies were established. Out of the 107 companies, they made it as a four companies, public sector general insurance companies. And they were National Insurance Company, New India Assurance Company, Oriental Insurance Company, United India Insurance Company, headquartered at Kolkata, New India from Bombay, Oriental from Delhi, United India from Chennai. And now, 2016, they brought one amendment in that Jibna Act. They made a small change in that Act and brought a Section 10B, which speaks of 51% holding of the Government of India and it talks that 49% can be sold out to the private parties. That, that is the first amendment that was brought in in the Jibna Act. So, that paves way for the privatization of the public sector general insurance companies. So, the, but at that time itself, government said 51% should be with the government, uh, government strike will should be at least 51% and balance can be sold out. It should not be less than 51%. Now, the amendment has come that the 10B class, which talks about 51% holding of the government, that is completely omitted. The section itself is taken away from the act. That means the government can sell 100% of the shares to the private insurance companies or to any corporate people. That is why we are opposing because it is a total privatization, wholesale privatization aimed at selling all the four public sector general insurance companies as well as GAC reinsurance companies. That is why we are opposing it. The story before 1971 continues now also. Now one or two years back, big insurance companies, big private insurance companies like Reliance Health, LNT General, Apollo Munich have closed the doors and merged with the other private insurance companies. So the story continues. The story of pre-1971 continues now also. What are the outcomes of this privatization move to the common public? Because these four are the uh, general insurance companies, public sector uh, companies. They have a lot of customers. And what will the impact on them? So actually, these general insurance companies are operating since 1971. Till 2000, when the private insurance market was open for the private insurance companies, there were a lot of schemes, social sector schemes, which we are giving free of cost. For example, if a person in a rural place, if he died due to a snake bite, or if he, if he met with an accident, uh, falling from a tree and other things, we used to pay 2,000 rupees, 3,000 rupees to the person, even though he did not pay any premium, zero rupees. We did not collect any premium from them. Just a declaration and certificate from the VOO, we will be paying some amount to the a deceased family. Likewise, if an art is burned or any any fire accident took place, uh, then we used to pay 5,000 rupees to the fa families. These are we, are, we paid it from our resources to the people, rural people, in order to bring them in the in the social state also. But now what is happening is, after 2000, we could not sustain these social sector policies because 
our answer are also tied and we also want to compete with the private insurance companies but after privatization was after the private companies were allowed also we could not function very independently the government asked us to implement various social sector schemes such as prime minister suraksha bima yojana scheme a scheme introduced by the prime minister of this country current prime minister who introduced this policy for a rupees 12 rupees premium if you have an account in the bank any public sector bank or private sector bank if you are an account holder you have to just write a give a letter to the bank manager that i am interested to opt for this policy prime minister suraksha bima yojana policy and you can debit 12 rupees from my account every year every year a, a, a tea cost today a glass of tea today cost 15 rupees to 20 rupees whereas a policy is given for 12 rupees per year and the sum insured is 2 lakh rupees if the person the account holder dies due to an accident he gets the family gets 2 lakh rupees as a compensation and this policy we have issued for 17 crore indians of this country 17 crore indians who have the bank account or who are the account holders of various banks and this is a very cheap policy subsidized policy and the claims ratio is around 350% that means for 17 crores we collected 200 crores premium but we are paying a claim of around 750 crores claim from our packet that means a huge loss for us 350% is a huge loss for us but is the government pay. compensating for this no zero compensation the government is not paying even 1 rupee from us from this kitty from their kitty to the general insurance companies the private companies are not doing these policies 92% of these policies are underwritten by the public sector general insurance companies and not the private insurance companies the ayushman bharat the government claimed that it is going to be a game changer in the 2019 election the health insurance scheme that the government with big advertisements in the newspaper they introduced this ayushman bharat health insurance scheme and today we are we are covering near about 40 crore people of this country through this health insurance scheme and 95% of the scheme is covered by the public sector general insurance company the private insurance companies are not participating the crop insurance fasal bima yojana the government uh, public sector general insurance companies are doing it we are incurring huge loss in it but we are happy that we are paying to our farmers we are happy that we are paying to the peasants of this country who are already suffering because of the various uh, enactments acts that have, that have been brought in so we are happy that we are paying to our own farmers but why the private companies are not doing it why the government is not pulling the private companies the corona warriors the frontline workers policy that they introduced 50 lakhs cover to the corona warriors frontline workers we have already paid 1000 claims that means 500 crores have already been given to the corona warriors the private insurance companies are not doing it and where do they spend they spend huge amount if you go and see the ird account public disclosure account of the private insurance companies out of the total expenses if it is 3000 crores around 1600 crores 1700 crores is shown as marketing expenses advertisement and publicity expenses they are not spending for the subsidized schemes or social sector schemes they are they have shown it as advertisement and publicity expenses 3000 crores 50 to 60 percent advertisement publicity expenses whereas public sector insurance company if you see the ird report out of the total expense of 3000 crores our advertisement publicity is 30 crores 10 crores 5 crores just 1% or half a percent of the expenses whereas they are spending 50% of their expenses for advertisement publicity so there is huge scams that are taking place huge irregularities that are taking place we do not know what the regulator is doing but we are concerned because this uh, publicity as an insurance company is providing cover to 50 crore of people of this country ordinary people of this country so this should be protected that is why we are in the streets now it is not the protection of job it is not the protection of our uh, salary it is the protection of the co- uh, insurance coverage for the ordinary people of this country that is why we are worried more so that being said in 1972 the uh, the, uh, the bill became an act for nationalizing the general insurance company this is the 50th anniversary of the nationalization so exactly after 50 years you are going back you know a huge step so what will be the impact of this on employment as you said and the future of the uh, people who have subscribed to these insurance policies it will direct it will definitely have a direct impact on the employment of the general insurance industry because right now we are around 53000 employees working in the four public sector general insurance companies last 3 years back we had a recruitment also now recruitment is stopped sensing this uh, government anticipated this move so they stopped recruitment in general insurance industry also they are not going to recruit any new number of employees in the near future also and number 2 one, one a lot of people are there unemployed people we are not going to recruit them number 1 number 2 this ipo if they say ipo earlier they said 51% government holding will be there 
when we said it is a privatization they said no no it is not a privatization it's a public participation they used they used a very uh, good word that it is a public participation only not privatization but at that time even at that time also there was a guarantee for the reservation and other things because 51% was in the government and the public sector characteristic was not lost it was an instrumentality of state at that time also but now with the jibna act amendment 100% if you are going to sell the company means it will no longer be an instrumentality of state then where is the question of reservation so where is the question of recruitment all these things will definitely have a need and as far as public are concerned the public comes to the insurance company public sector insurance company for taking insurance of his cattle is is cow is uh, is uh, goat a hen a pig everything from a to z we are giving and we have branches 40% of our branches in rural areas we have penetrated to the rural areas we have 8000 branches 40% are in rural areas the private insurance companies have only 2% of the branches in rural areas and that too up to tier 4 only we have branches up to tier 6 cities also where the population is less than 5000 now if we close our offices no private insurance companies will open a shop in population less than 5000 no private insurance company is going to open a office in population in tier 5 cities or tier 4 cities then what will happen to the people there who will give the insurance coverage to them they talk of digital they talk of agency and other things but what about the ordinary people who is owning just a two pairs of cow or a goat or pig or sheep who will insure their crop who will insure their agriculture pump set Uh, they they are not comfortable with the internet and other things so it is a very difficult job so we are the people who are going to the rural areas the government should consider this the public sector general insurance companies have done human service to the people of this country so the government should uh, they should have a rethink on this and we are going to take up this issue with the public also because they are going to lose the insurance so we are going for very vigorous campaign among the publics pamphlets distribution street corner meetings and we are going to mobilize a public opinion against this government move to privatize the public sector general insurance complex thank you sir for joining us